हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी सम ऑफ द स्पेशल केसेस ऑफ ग्राफिकल मेथड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन हाउ टू सॉल्व द ग्राफिकल मेथड ओके वी फर्स्ट स्टेप्स वी हैव सीन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू प्लॉट द कंस्टेंट देन वी हैव टू प्लॉट द डिसीजन वेरिएबल्स ओके वेदर इट इज नॉन निगेटिव रिस्ट्रिक्शन और अनरिस्ट्रिक्टेड रिस्ट्रिक्शन वी हैव टू प्लॉट द decision variables then we have to find the feasible region okay so you know that we have to feasible region means if all the points if all the points in that region is going to satisfy all the constraints simultaneously then that, that region is feasible region after that we will find the optimal solution okay so today we will talk some of the special cases okay so the first case the first case is case 1 the first case is in feasible solution the first case is in feasible solution okay in examination the questions are directly going to be asked from these type of cases okay they will ask that whether the solution is single or unique whether the solution is in feasible whether the solution is multiple optimal okay more than one solution can be possible whether the solution is unbounded okay so we will try to see the meaning of each and every term okay so our first case is in feasible solution and we have already written an example okay so with the help of this example we will try to understand that what is in feasible solution okay when we are going to get an in feasible solution in feasible solution means there will not be any solution to the objective function okay so this is the example we have got a maximization type objective function okay we have got a maximization type objective function maximize z equals to x plus y and it is subjected to constraints two constraints are there x plus y less than equals to 1 and minus 3x plus y greater than equals to 3 you can see less than equals to type constraint and it is greater than equal to type constraint so we have got a mixed constraint and the decision variables are non negative restrictions so the first step was to plot the constraint okay so two constraints are there so first we will plot the graph between the decision variable that is y and x okay these are the two decision variables and this is our origin okay this is our origin so we will plot the constant so the first constant is x plus y less than equals to 3 so what we will do we will convert the constant into equality type first okay we are going to convert the constant into equality type that is x plus y equals to 1 and we will plot it so when you are going to put x 0 then y value is 1 and when y 0 then x value is 1 so we will get this type of constant 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 so this is 0 comma 1 and this point is 1 comma 0 okay so how to check the nature okay how to check the nature what we are going to do we are going to put 0 comma 0 in this constant so we will get 0 is less than equals to 1 okay 0 is less than equals to 1 so this condition is we know that this condition is true okay so true means true condition means we can say that the graph is shaded the graph is shaded towards towards the origin okay it means this graph okay the plotted constant graph it is shaded towards the origin so this is our origin so the graph will be shaded towards the origin because the condition is true now the second constant you can see when y value is 0 then x value will be minus 1 okay when x value is 0 then y value is when y value is 0 then x value is minus 1 and when x value is 0 y value is 3 so the graph is like this this is 0 comma 3 and this is this point is minus 1 comma 0 okay and let extend it okay little bit extend it okay so the intersection point is this one so how we are going to see the nature of the graph we will put 0 comma 0 in this constant okay we are going to put 0 comma 0 in this constant so what you will get you will get 0 greater equals to 3 so the condition is false 
okay the condition is false so graph is away from the origin okay condition is false so graph is away from origin okay we have seen these things in the graphical method so the graph is away means this is the origin so graph will be set to away from the origin like this now we have to find the feasible region okay the third step was to find the feasible region so look at the non negative restrictions it says that stay in the first quadrant okay x and y both are greater or equals to 0 it means it says that stay in the first quadrant so in the first quadrant see this is the one region and this is the second region okay so suppose we are going to take a point a so if this is a feasible region then this point a must satisfy both the constants simultaneously so see here this a will not satisfy this constant and this constant both so this region cannot be the feasible region because the point a is not going to satisfy any other constant and if this is a point b if this is a point b then this constant is only satisfying this point is only satisfying this constant this point b will not satisfy this constant so this is not the feasible region so we can say that we can say that no feasible region is obtained okay we can say that no feasible region is obtained no feasible region is obtained means we can say that our solution we do not get any kind of feasible region we will not get the corner points okay we will not get the corner point so we cannot maximize the objective function it means we can say that the solution is the solution is infeasible we can say that the solution is infeasible because we are not able to find the feasible region and we are not able to find the corner points hence the solution is infeasible okay so infeasible means we are we are not able to form the constants correctly okay we are not able to form the constants correctly we must have left some of the constants your constant formation is not right it means the solution we are not getting any solution okay so options will be there in the objective question whether the solution is unique or infeasible okay so you know what is infeasible when you are not able to get any of the feasible region you are not able to get any of the corner points so the solution is infeasible okay so by plotting the graph you can find it okay very simple one by plotting the graph you will given the question just plot the graph and find the solution okay so in a nutshell you have to remember the graph okay that how the graph is going to form okay so again i am going to draw a new graph okay so whenever the graph is like this this is one of the decision variables and this is another another decision variable so suppose you are drawing the graph and the graph becomes like this this is the first constant this is our origin okay so randomly i am drawing the graph okay you have to just compare the your question with this graph okay and suppose the other constant is like this away from the origin so you can see if you are going to take a point here it will only satisfy this blue color constant okay so this is not the feasible region because it must satisfy this point a must satisfy both the constants simultaneously but it will not satisfy if you are going to take a point here also if you are going to take a point here also so it will not satisfy any of the constants so this is also not a feasible region if you are going to take a point c here then this point c will only satisfy this black color constant this constant okay so this is also not the feasible region because this point c must satisfy both of the constants so you can see that no feasible region is obtained okay for this graph you can see that no feasible region okay no feasible region hence we can say that infeasible solution we can say that the solution is infeasible so what you have to do you have to just remember this graph you have to just keep this graph in mind and you have to compare this with the question suppose you got a question you are drawing a graph if the figure is like this okay no feasible region then you have to tick that the solution is infeasible okay the solution is infeasible means we are not getting any of the corner points we are not getting any of the feasible region so the solution is infeasible so this was our first case in graphical method in the upcoming lecture we will see the different cases okay so this is all about infeasible region thank you